Hernandez here with Jerry El Chicanito Guevara. Uh, Jerry, you got a big fight coming up at the new McAllen Convention Center, Solo Book Sale, Border Explosion. Uh, I spoke to your uh, promoter yesterday, Julio Marines, and I asked him who was going to fill in that empty spot in the co-main event, and he said uh, possibly it would be your fight. Uh, so, you know, how do you feel about taking that slot if your fight was to be on the co-main event and, you know, fighting on TV? I feel happy, you know. It's uh, great news. Because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for exposure. That's that's what I I haven't gotten yet, and I'm always waiting for that TV fight. So, but if that doesn't happen, we're happy to fight just on the undercard. Okay. All right. Now you're coming off a big win in Las Vegas against one of Manny Pacquiao's uh, top prospects, who was undefeated at the time, and uh, you won that fight, unanimous decision, and uh, just from what I hear, put on a, a boxing clinic that night. You know, uh, a lot of your fans are really looking forward to seeing you fight. You know, this Saturday, how do you feel? How how prepared are you for this fight? Well, that fight, I think it was a it's a great motivation for me right now. But also, I mean, that's the fight that I already passed. So I guess we're just looking and staying focused for the next one. And and um, and that fight also helped me to stay confident because I've been out for almost eight months, and that's been giving me a lot of confidence to stay in shape. And and that's let me know that I can still fight good in okay. the following one. Okay. Now. Talk to me about that. You have been out for eight months. Uh, you know, what are some of the things that you've uh, been working on with trainer, you know, being being away from the ring for so long? You know, do you feel that ring rust is going to play a factor in this upcoming bout? Well, I haven't forgotten the skills or nothing. It's just that I've been definitely working on my conditioning and my, my, my timing and stuff and, and a lot of combinations. And that's what my coach been uh, helping me, Robert, uh, so keeping the three, three or four punches together. So that's what we've been, been uh, working on. Okay. Now talk to me about your relationship with Robert Campos. He's been with you from uh, the beginning and even goes back all the way to your amateur days. You know, how, uh, how have you guys uh, progressed um, in your career? Uh, it's been a great uh, relationship between us. It's been almost like what, almost all my boxing career, about 12, 13, 12 years. So he knows me pretty well, what I can do and not. So I'm happy that I have a coach like that because in boxing, you got to have someone that can depend on you, like, on, on that way that I can trust you, and, and that, that's what I like about him, that okay. we both know uh, each other that, that well. Good. Good. Okay. Now, if all goes well and you come out with a victory, you know, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to in the near future? Well, uh, we're definitely looking for, for uh, to stay in BC, but first of all, we we got to go through this fight, and hopefully we can come victorious, and so we can uh, get out of, out of uh, all the ring rust, you know, because I've been out, like I said, eight, almost eight months. Okay, that's great. Well, is there anything you want to say before we close to all the fans who've supported you throughout your whole career? Yes, uh, I, wanna, I would like to invite them to my fight this Saturday coming up, and I will be happy if they can make it, you know, because it's always good to have my fans cheering for me. Okay, Jerry, well, thank you for the interview, and uh, best of luck this weekend. Right, thank you. Thank you, Adrian.